The following is a video presentation from the Environmental Change and Security Program at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. As our notion of security evolves, the Environmental Change and Security Program asks scientists and policymakers to share their insights on a range of global challenges. In this short video, Avner van Gosh, Associate Professor of Earth and Ocean Sciences at Duke University, discusses his recent discovery of naturally occurring radioactivity in Jordan's fossil groundwater at levels up to 2,000% higher than the international drinking water standard. During the last few years, we, be, we have been working as part of the USA, the Middle East Research Cooperation Project, MERC, which is funding Israeli and Arab scientists to work together. And this project, we've been working in the southern part of Jordan, uh, studying groundwater from uh, the DC aquifer, which is uh, fossil groundwater and is considered to be the future water of Jordan as the natural, repl uh, natural replenished groundwater are being depleted or being contaminated by different uh, mechanisms. So Jordan is desperately needing new water to add for the increasing demand uh, of the population and they uh, target the DC aquifer as their future water source. And this aquifer has been used extensively also by Saudi Arabia in an aquifer that is called the Sak aquifer and using more than one billion cubic meter per year in Saudi Arabia. And what we found that uh, uh, we found that in several, uh, we investigated about 40, 40 wells and in a large number of them we found high level of natural occurring radium. Radium is an element, it's a radioactive element which decays to different uh, daughter isotopes including radon and uh, several studies have shown that exposure, long-term exposure to this element by drinking water would increase the probability of uh, bone cancer and leukemia and um, there was a study in New Jersey here in the US showing that uh, just having slightly above the EPA threshold of uh, five picocurie per liter for combined radium-226 and radium-228 would increase uh, the probability of bone cancer by, a, uh, by a, at least an uh, order of magnitude for the local population. And here, what we found that uh, the level of radium is about 200% relative to the EPA drinking water regulation for some of the world. So uh, we published this study in the Journal of Environmental Science and Technology where we are um, trying to uh, lay out the result. We also provide some uh, uh, geochemical modeling to understand why we are having this high level of, uh, of radioactivity in the water, high radium. And basically, um, one of our conclusions that uh, we have um, similar aquifers in the Middle East that uh, happening in the, um, we find those aquifers in Israel, in the Negev, in the Sinai, in Egypt, in Libya, and Sudan, basically. This is part of the Nubian sandstone basin. They, we expect them to have similar high level of radioactivity of radium. And indeed, in the Negev, in Israel, and there are some study in Egypt, uh, results have shown that indeed we find high level of radium uh, in this type of, of, of groundwater. So basically, uh, we believe that um, millions of people uh, are potentially going to be exposed to this level of, of radium. And we also offer in our paper some uh, simple mechanism for remediation. In fact, you can manage it. It's not something that is impossible to manage. And simple ion exchange softener would remove the radium from the water. Uh, um, reverse osmosis desalinization will do the same. Then the issue is what you do with the waste because it's a becoming relatively high radioactive waste. But again, it's something that can be dealt. So basically, uh, the implication is that um, the future using of water of this in Jordan, we need to address the issue of high radium. And we were expecting that the Water Authority in, in Jordan will look at it and, and see how they can manage either by mixing this water with low radium sources or by a building um, treatment to remove radium from the water. So it's manageable and doable but uh, 
our paper just uh, provide the, the first analysis of